let's go out and see what's going on in the garden. The pear tree is budding. allotment problems <laughs> Savoy cabbages are bursting Who left that there? That was not me Cabbages are bursting I'm going to let them flower this year I've told Mr G to leave them alone We got loads of food. It's muddy though. Do you girls want to come out for a bit while I do buns? Garlic and a cherry tree. My onions are looking fab. And this one here is one that I actually put in the compost, but I saw it was growing roots, so I popped it in here to make seed for this year. So hopefully that one's gonna seed up for me. Nothing going on in this bed except just down here where I've got Autumn King carrots, Purple Haze carrots, and Scarlet Nantes carrots. All sown. What are you? You are not a carrot. <gasps> I'm finding these everywhere. They don't smell like anything. I don't know what it is. This. This is because this is my own compost. So seeds are coming up of things. I don't know what it is. So here I'm just going to pull them out. But there is some coming up up here where I haven't got anything yet. I think it's lettuce. But there's another one of those little bulb things. I don't know where they're coming from. But yeah, we've got loads of little bits growing in here. That's what you get when you share your compost with your husband. Temporarily early. Why was I going to say beetroot? Rhubarb. Temporarily early rhubarb coming up. Chives. Garlic chives thyme looking a bit scraggly I might have to get rid and start again with thyme and marjoram my curry plant this smells delicious when you rub your fingers up against it hey lady I'm sorry am I disturbing you should I leave I'm surprised you're still sat there to be fair. Oh, there you go. Did you 
Did you lay anything? No, I did disturb you, didn't I? I'm sorry. Lay me a blue egg. Please, please. Thank you. Peach tree. Looking beautiful. But it gets peach leaf curl every single year. So I don't want to use chemicals in my garden. Um, and this one is sheltered by this. This is the west. So this is where all our weather comes from. So when it rains, it hits this and then goes on to that. But it doesn't get as much rain as it would if it wasn't there. So what's the lesser of two evils, really? And here are my spuds. Don't ask me what they are because I have no idea. I had some spuds going chitty, ch itty, in my, in my larder. Sorry, I'm just pulling out more of its seedlings. Um, in my larder. So I thought, oh, I'm going to chuck them in the potato bed and see what happens. And here they are looking awesome. Oh my goodness, these seedlings are just everywhere. Look, it's these. You know these helicopter seeds that come down that are awesome to play with? They seed everywhere. There. So, I put a potato there, a potato there, one there, one there, one here, one here, one here, and one here, I believe. So I've got four out of nine come up so far. It's only an experiment. Look at these chives. Beautiful, but the only problem is, look how far the soil has gone down. Sorry. So the soil was up to here and it's fallen. So we need to top this up, but the chives are in it. So I'm going to have to dig up the chives to top up the soil. Oh, look, there's another one there. Bloody things. This is a leak that's gone to seed. And my Babington leeks, which are perennial. What you do is you they come in little bowl bills and you plant them up and then you just cut them off at the base, eat them as you would a leek, and they grow back. How amazing is that? Or you just let them grow, they'll create a head full of bowl bills. You replant those bowl bills to get more leek plants. So, I'm sowing all my leek seeds this year. I've still got some left, so I'll sow them all next year. Um, standard leeks. And hopefully by that time, my Babington leeks will have taken over. And I don't need to buy any more leek seeds. Hurrah, hurrah. Yes. Busy in here. Hi, buddy. You hungry? Are you hungry? All right. I shall feed you.